Alrighty, so here is section 4.5, uh, exercise 44. And, um, and so what we have is that we're told f prime of x equals secant squared of 2x. And we would like to find a particular antiderivative. Now, I don't like the way the directions say, you know, find the equation. Uh, it's a function definition. I, I, don't, I don't like them using the word equation there. I think it gives people the wrong idea for equation. But at any rate, uh, we're told we want an an, a particular antiderivative that happens to go through pi over 2 and 2. And so, okay, let's find that antiderivative of secant squared of 2x. Well, here, um, you know, I want u to be 2x, so du is uh, 2dx. Well, I don't have 2dx, so again, uh, let's put that in. 2 uh, secant squared of 2x dx. Now we have a 2dx in there. And so that's 1 half uh, the antiderivative of secant squared of u and um, uh, du. Now, you know, if you didn't know your antiderivatives very well, you might then also think, oh, do I need to do another substitution for secant because that's inside the squaring function. But knowing my antiderivatives, I know that secant squared u is the derivative of tangent, and, and so the antiderivative of secant squared u is tangent. And so we have our tangent of u uh, plus an arbitrary constant. And so um, this is equal to 1 half uh, tangent of 2x plus an arbitrary constant, but then we're, we want to make this condition true. So we're going to try to find c here such that um, if we have 2, uh, that should have come from 1 half uh, tangent of uh, 2 pi over 2 uh, plus c. And, um, well, let's see, that's tangent of pi. Well, tangent of pi is 0, so we have 2 equals 0 plus c. Ah, so c equals 2. So our actual function that we want, f of x, is, t uh, oops, 1 half, uh, 1 half tangent of 2x plus 2. And that will give us our particular antiderivative. Uh, and that is number 44.